We keep things rolling here on the Sports Cubicle and Sports from the College. I'm your host, Mike Mercado. Thank you so much for making us a part of your day. And this story that hit the newswire has been something we've been monitoring for a little while now here in Chicago, here on the show, because it is something that has been on the mind of the consumer, the sports fan here in Chicago. So as we all know, NBC Sports Chicago, probably your local affiliate, heck, it's been happening with Valley Sports, all the regional things that you've probably seen affect you, is coming to Chicago because there's no longer an NBC Sports Chicago, the home of the Chicago White Sox, Chicago Bulls, and Chicago Blackhawks. Well, now we know the name of the new network that will be hosting these teams, Chicago Sports Network. The big question was, how will we be able to watch these games? Where would these games be broadcast? Who will carry this channel? And we've been getting little news bits as this week has gone on. And this one came to us from the Chicago Tribune. Get out your old antenna, sports fans. Chicago Sports Network to launch October 1st on DirecTV and Free TV. This is by Robert Chanick over at Chicago Tribune. Make sure you guys support them. When the Chicago Sports Network launches as the new 24-7 home of the White Sox, Bulls, and Blackhawks on October 1st, many Chicagoans, initially won't be able to tune in, at least not without rabbit ears antenna. A carriage agreement with DirecTV is expected to be announced shortly, but Comcast and other paid TV providers are still on the sidelines, leaving an old school solution for those desperate to watch the Bulls and Blackhawks as their new season begins. CHSN, the new acronym for the Chicago Sports Network, has struck a deal with a small independent Chicago TV station to broadcast its 300-plus game schedule and associated sports shows, making the network free to anyone who could capture the -the over-the-air signal. Check out the entire article over at the Chicago Tribune by Robert Chanick. Get out your old antenna, sports fans. Chicago Sports Network to launch October 1st on DirecTV and free TV. So that was one part of the story then it officially came out this comes to us from wgn tv new chicago sports network direct tv announced agreement to televise bulls blackhawks white Sox starting october 1st this again is from michael johnson over at wgn tv here in chicago an agreement between the new chicago sports network and direct tv will provide live bulls blackhawks and white Sox games to five states including illinois beginning next month in a news release wednesday CHSN and DirecTV announced a multi-year distribution agreement to provide CHN, CHSN and its live local game telecast for the Bulls, Blackhawks, and White Sox across, quote, most of Illinois and Iowa and parts of Indiana, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Check out the entire article over at WGN TV. New Chicago Sports Network, DirecTV announced agreement to televise Bulls, Blackhawks, White Sox starting October 1st. That was by Michael Johnson over at WGN TV. So this is an interesting new way that Chicagoans are kind of seeing the new age of media and sports media. So as obviously being inside the industry, you've kind of seen how this is going. You saw that the teams, let's say specifically Major League Baseball, like the Yankees or the Dodgers, that were able to get ahead of the curve and have their own TV deals. That brought in so much money. That's not the case anymore. For the longest time in a lot of sports, especially baseball specifically, it was always about what local TV deal are you going to be able to sign that's going to be able to help you sign players to have a bigger payroll, all the stuff that us fans always talk about that we want to see our teams do with their finances. So when that bubble burst, And you started seeing RSNs, regional sports networks, go away. Like Bally's and Fox Sports and now NBC and Comcast back in the day before they became NBC. They're all gone now, right? People weren't able to watch Atlanta Braves baseball. People weren't able to watch certain games in in college football and and NFL. We saw what was going on with ESPN and the the satellites and, and cable companies. It's a brand new day for sports fans. And this is one of those rare times where it's not just sports fandom. If you're a fan of music, of movies, of anything, the streaming services, the subscriptions, all the, the, the gatekeeping now that is the paywalls have made it really hard for the consumer. Now, this is a, a weird story, an interesting curveball being thrown because it's 
going to be on free television. All you need to get is old school rabbit ears. I'm old enough to remember having old school antenna. Heck, I'm talking about as early as 2004 still using them when we first moved into our apartment. Like, I remember when you couldn't afford cable, you just throw it on there and hope that WGN, uh, WB Network, that became the CW or Fox or NBC, CBS, ABC had some good shows on. Better hope that Sven Gulli had a fun movie on Saturday. I hope you liked old reruns of old 1970s shows. I love the Three Stooges. That's bringing it back there. We, I grew up on the Cubs being on WGN, on being able to watch Bulls basketball on WGN. If you've listened to us here on the Sports Cubicle, I've always said that I believe once a month, the Cubs and the White Sox should be playing free baseball on television, that they shouldn't be locked behind a payroll that is Marquee Network. And at the time, NBC Sports Chicago, especially a sport like baseball. You know, NFL doesn't run into this problem anymore. I think now that they got rid of essentially the blackout because it's so dang popular. But I think that that gatekeeping, like your entire economy is the sports fan. It's the eyeballs. It's the conversation that happens from watching your game. And I think this is an interesting kind of ploy a a an interesting strategy that the ownership jerry reinsdorf being a big part of it right i think stadium owns and is going to produce all this i think this is a a brilliant brilliant idea and you do have to bring up what's it going to be like two years from now a year from now if they do strike a deal with comcast let's say they strike a deal with comcast two weeks into the season two weeks before the season starts, whatever the timeline may be, are they just going to cut it off? I mean, we know we have, they have this deal for the local 300 games plus with a local TV station, but how fluid is that? And then how are they going to then tell the consumer, the fan, or remember that thing that was on over the air free television? We're going to have to pay for it now. You're, you're setting yourself up for that Pandora's box. It's hard. It's one thing when you're already getting people to pay for something to increase it a little bit, right? It's the lobster or frog in the boiling water, right? If you just crank it up just a little bit by a little bit, they'll never notice. That's what these big companies, these media companies, these sports entities do to us, right? It's the, although sometimes they just like the UFC just completely uh, uh, make these prices crazy. But the idea of if you're going to go down this road and you're going to make it over the – air free television what's it going to be like when and if you strike a deal with comcast or any of these other providers but that's where we're at i wanted to hit on this story because we've been looking at this for a long time and october is right around the corner right like baseball is about to be in the postseason we know the nfl is in full go right now which means the nhl and nba are right around the corner and that's a lot a lot of inventory for these tv companies for these leagues to not try to get the most profit out of it. So for us to finally kind of have an idea of what the game plan is, at least for this season, has been interesting. But you have direct TV, you'll get the new Chicago Sports Network. If you don't, get yourself old school rabbit ears and watch it for free over the air because that is the solution going into this season. But we want to know your thoughts. How do you think this is going to play out? What do you think is going to happen if you're not from Chicago in your market? Are you going through any type of similar scenario like we are here in Chicago? Let us know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below if you're watching us on YouTube at The Sports Cubicle. Just search us, The Sports Cubicle or Sports from the Couch, and leave a comment. We want to know what you thought. And, of course, follow us on Twitter at The Sports Cubicle. Check us out over at WCPT 820 every Sunday night, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. as we break down all the local and national sports topics and over at our mothership at heartlandsignal.com. And please, thank you all so much for the support of Lucha Dog. It has been an amazing month plus of the release, and you guys have been amazing. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, we are getting so close to holiday season. If you want to give it to a kid donated to the school library, now that school is in full session, go to amazon.com and search Lucha Dog or visit us at luchadog.com. We got a whole lot left on the Sports Cubo and Sports from the Couch. Stay tuned. Thank you all so much. We got more coming up next here on the Sports Cubicle on Sports from the Couch. I'm your host, 
Mike Mercado.